What's up everybody? Coming at you kind of late. It is dark outside. Don't mind all the junk in my yard. Um, wanted to get a quick video out for the Sunday update. So the biggest thing uh, I guess we could say that happened this weekend was wheels and tires. If you have seen the past videos, you probably remember these uh, American Racer wheels and tires. Those are no longer on the car. We now have the 18 by nine and a half rears by 18 by eights in the front. Um, they are purple and green. Purple is a little dark in here with this lighting, so it kind of looks black from a distance, but it is purple. Looks really good in person, a lot better than it does on camera. The green looks really good. The green, of course, matches um, everything else that we have powder coated green. It's all the same color green, so it'll all match. Um, but that's the wheels and tires. They're all the way around. The car's sitting on jack stands, so obviously that's not right height. But got the other side on as well. Like I say, the car's just sitting on jack stands. I uh, got center caps coming. The center caps that came with these rims was plastic. We couldn't powder coat them. And besides trying to paint them like I had talked about maybe in one of my previous videos, I just decided to order some metal center caps and then I'm going to have those powder coated green to match the outer ring. And if everything works out good for that, should look pretty good. Uh, still waiting on those to come in. But that's the wheels and tires. That's the that's the main thing, like I say, that happened this weekend. The only other thing that I've really done is kind of some boring stuff. Uh, getting ready to weld this hole up. We did the other side over here already. So that hole is gone. Not the greatest, but it'll cover up good. You won't ever know that it was there. Um, the other thing that we've done is what I've talked about maybe in the past one or two videos is I've got the car primed basically from this line over and that's all the way up over the roof looks a little streaky because it is but down the quarters down the sides that same line all the way to the trunk i know that i had painted this area here before but decided to go ahead and hit it again um, i come in with some seam sealer earlier so that's what that black stuff is uh, just sealing everything off this of course is going to get more uh, primer before paint but right now basically what I'm doing is I'm priming the car when I think that it's good I'm not a body man obviously and the primer really highlights areas that need more work like here for instance this doesn't need a ton of work but you can kind of see the body filler which means it's probably not sanded quite enough so that'll get addressed uh, this line here it's gonna need some work same thing the other line over there is going to need some work. Um, the roof turned out really good. I've already fixed it once, but I do have like a kind of a drippy thing going on here. I got to look and see what's going on there. Uh, and a few other spots just here or there. There's probably 10 or 15 spots that I've got to fix just to get from that line up looking good, which is basically my goal for now because I can't do anything from that line down until the body kit gets here. And so the car is probably just gonna sit here on jack stands until the body kit gets here. Um, I've got some covers that will go over my freshly powder coated wheels. Those are actually sitting in the floor over there. I'm gonna get those put on there to protect the wheels. But like I say, there's not really a whole lot I can do, even this body work here. It's probably going to wind up getting cut when the body kit comes in, so there's no sense in worrying about that body work. The only body work that I may finish is just the door on the driver and the door on the passenger, which the passenger door looks pretty good. Uh, I did have one spot that I fixed there at the bottom, and then I do see some more spots that you can't see on camera, but there's some spots there that's got to be fixed. And then the last thing that has to be fixed which is on both sides, but this side would be easier to show on camera. But there was a skirt panel that came across the bottom of this car. And so you got these holes. I gotta come in and just tack weld each one of those holes 
grind that down and make sure that that's smooth. Um, and that's it. Fix that other hole on the side that I showed earlier. And the body work will pretty well be done. There's one bigger hole back here that probably is going to be cut out. You can see some maybe some rust body filler there that's probably going to be cut out because that wide body kit comes up so we'll see um, however far this has to be cut out we'll cut it out and if it's not perfect then i'll weld in some metal and fix it but either way i think the wide body kit's going to cover that but i don't want any rust holes on this car so if it's not uh, getting cut out i'm going to fix it with metal and then put the body kit on um, another thing that I've been looking at is the side vents and so I had bought some side vents for the car I may have shown these in a past video but the problem is these side vents um, they have this section and so what this actually does because it has this lip is it pushes this thing back and so it pushes it back further than this lip. So if I line this lip up, as you can see right there, I'm sticking over the door. And so what I'm going to have to do, because that lip has to be even for the wide body kit, I'm going to have to cut the front of this. And so i got to figure out how much of this I'm taking off to make these side skirts work. But that will probably be happening this next weekend obviously I'm not doing anything else this weekend I didn't do much this weekend anyway a little bit of body work I've been trying to relax um, I've got a doctor's appointment next week with a heart doctor uh, my heart's not quite beating correctly and so I got to get that looked at I didn't want to be out here working too hard on the car so I did some light sanding slapped the respirator on got this primer on and that's pretty much all I did uh, the whole weekend aside from welding that one spot there but uh, the cars coming along still good we're on schedule so I'm not too worried uh, I think everything is gonna go okay uh, at the heart doctor um, so I'm not really too concerned I'd also have an infection if my voice sounds different I have an infection in my throat I'm currently taking antibiotics and steroids for that. And I'm hoping that maybe that infection, because it was a bacterial infection, maybe that had something to do with my heart not beating right. Uh, my heart is back beating right now, I will say, so that's good. But I think we're in good shape. Uh, the car's in good shape. Everything's coming along. It's starting to finally come together. <clears throat> i got to take these wheels uh, these are actually going to the guy who does my powder coat stuff. Uh, and because I did a trade with him, I traded him these wheels to do the powder coating, which was great for me. Um, now I don't have to worry about trying to sell these wheels. So, like I say, that turned out good. But that's the progress that we have made. Um, everything is uh, it's coming together. I mean, the car is looking better every day. The colors are a little bit extravagant, obviously. The purple and green is definitely an eye catcher. Uh, hopefully, when everything is painted, it all comes together. And hopefully it looks really good. Uh, so far, I'm happy with the way it looks. I really love that green. Uh, the purple, of course, I like it too. The purple is a little darker than what I wanted on the car. Um, but... It looked really good in the photos when I purchased it online. It's a little darker on the car than I like, but once you get the clear coat and the metal flake, it actually brightens it up, so it, it will look better. The rims, of course, will be a little darker than the paint after I get the clear coat and the, the glitter in there, but I wanted the rims to be a little bit different anyway. I didn't want everything to be an exact match. So, that's just where we're at. But, that's pretty much it for tonight, guys. I am about to go take a shower and get in the bed and get ready to go back to work tomorrow. I just wanted to show, again, what we got going on with the car. 
We got the rims on. We are getting there. Everything is finally coming together. We got my rear panel taped off. Uh, I don't know if you got to see that on video yet, but I put some vinyl wrap across the back uh, over that black panel. I think I covered that in the last video, but maybe I didn't. Uh, but you will get to see that in the future. For now, it's going to stay covered because I don't want anything to happen to it. But that's where we're at, fellas. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Going to have more videos of this car coming out. Hopefully every Sunday I try to do at least one video. And, you know, we're just going to keep chipping away at it. The next couple of videos may be a little boring because we're getting down to where now I'm really just waiting on this body kit. Uh, it's, it's holding me up not having this body kit. Uh, Mayor did say that they plan to have it done uh, by the end of September. I'm really hoping that that's the case because by then I'm going to be sitting here just scratching my head not knowing what to do because that's all that's really left is getting the wide body kit on. You know, of course, I've got to finish getting the, the front bumper uh, fully mocked up which I'll probably do that as well this weekend because welding these holes on each side isn't going to take that long. And even if I do decide to do any body work on the doors, that's not going to take long. And I probably won't prime them. I'll probably prime this whole side once the wide body kit is on. So again, there's just not much more that I can do other than fitting everything and waiting for the body kit. But we're going to get it all fitted, and we're going to get it all done, and I'll keep doing videos. And hopefully when the wide body kit gets here, I can have a little better content, and then we'll have this car finished. And then we got to figure out what the future is um, for the channel. Um, there will be, of course, videos of this car if nobody offers me a crazy price and buys it. But there'll be more videos of this car, and I may wind up purchasing another vintage Mustang and starting another project, but um, we'll just have to wait and see, but this is where we're at for tonight. I'm going to end the video here. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I take all the support I can get. I've put a lot of time and a lot of money in this car, and so I appreciate anybody who, who likes it, and if you like the Joker, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't like this car, so... Hit that subscribe button and shoot me a message in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And keep an eye out for the next video. If you haven't seen the other videos, I highly recommend checking them out. I'm not a good video editor, but I just make these videos as I go. I can't really show you stuff as I do it, but I'm happy to show you what I've done every week. And go from there. I do all of this myself. Nobody else has touched this car. Um, this is just me out here in the shop working, occasionally my girlfriend. Obviously, I didn't do the powder coating myself, but all the body work, all of that is all done by me. Every vision that's been done for this car has come from my head. And I've had people tell me that stuff just wasn't going to look good, and it wound up looking great. And so far, I'm really happy with how everything looks. So, like I say... Hit that subscribe button and look for more videos and check out the past videos. Everybody have a good night and I'm going to bed.